day 76, and uh, I can see that uh, Abby and Joey, hold on, did not succeed, <laughs> did not succeed in uh, sleeping in here. They definitely attempted, but uh, considering it's half collapsed and there's no one inside it, but neither of them are going about, it was too hot. It was way too hot. I could I could barely sleep on my bed because it was too hot. Not even in my bed, on my bed. So, but yes. Anyway, let's go. Day seventy six. So the debate for the day is: uh, I'm about to exercise. I'm about to exercise. I'm about to exercise in the living room. And it's very hot, as we all know, it is absolutely roasting. Uh, and so I want to open the window, you know, to let some air in, but at the same time, the someone uh, across the road, possibly, or on our road, I can't tell, I can just hear it, um, is cutting grass or a hedge or something. And my hay fever is already very bad today. Uh, I woke up with, enough detail is that I woke up with uh, sore eyes. You don't need the rest of the detail, but uh, yes. To be fair though, if I work out in the heat, I'll sweat quicker. Isn't that a good thing? I think so. We shall see what happens. One thing I do know though, is I'm trying to make this a relatively quick workout. Like, do what I normally do, but you know, I'm not gonna push myself because that's beautiful. Uh, and if I turn around the sofa in about 20 minutes, half an hour, so the sun will just be perfectly coming through the main window and I can carry on working on my tan from the comfort of my living room. Maybe I should go on a walk or something, we shall see. I am lying on the sofa in the sun, you know, trying to catch some of them rays. It's ridiculously hot. It's insane. My computer in my room is by my window and I was so torn between trying to get the sun and just get some of that, you know, good old vitamins from the sun through the open window and just through the light. But also I couldn't see the screen because it was so bright and I was so wetting. So I think today's one of those days where I'm just going to be kind of chilling, not doing very much from now on, just relaxing, enjoying the sun because my goodness, is it hot. And if I do too much, I'll just fall asleep, I'm sure. I'm going to probably go out and try and enjoy it tomorrow, though. Just sit in the meadows on my own and chill. Do any of you do this where you have food in your hand and you can't remember why it's in your hand, so you just on instinct put it in your mouth? It's a weird thing to say, um, and I don't think it's something I do often, but uh, I've just, I'm making a bowl of cereal and I put banana in the cereal and... I chopped up the banana, um, and you know, the little end bit that's like a little bit gross sometimes. So I chopped it and then left the tiny little end bit in my hand. Um, and then started like, cause it was a bit gross and there was like black bits on it. And I was like, I just don't eat that. Um, then I started just like trying to think about what I was doing next, which would be get the milk, but you know, slow brain these days and just <laughs> on instinct put the bit of banana in my mouth and then was just like, and just, Anyway, it wasn't as exciting, and it it, it, was, it wasn't as exciting a story as I thought in my head. But there you go. Second little anecdote for the night, I suppose. Anecdote? I don't know. I've watched most of The Walking Dead, um, and the newest season, uh, the finale has been postponed, but every other episode has been released, uh, due to the world situation, um, and so. Oh man, I have the hiccups. Yeah, basically, I've watched up to a point where it like ended with a conclusion, and I know if I not watch the next episode, a new storyline will kind of begin and continue. But at the same time, I have more episodes to watch. But I know I won't get to see the conclusion of this bit because it's I'm only four episodes away from the finale, which has been postponed. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should start a new TV show. I don't know if I have the energy to do that. Again, we shall see what happens. 
So I was not done. I need to wait for this. There we go. Uh, in a sec. Um, yeah, so I was just watching Netflix. I decided on I'd watch a different show that has four seasons and hopefully I get invested, but so far I'm not. Anyway, um, Abby knocked on my door. Um, so I came out to see what she was knocking on my door about and yeah, go turn off the light, Abby. I don't, you can't really see it. You can see the fire, but there's a group of youths partying out there. Um, another one just arrived. Another one just arrived. Yeah, I heard them go, oh my god, yeah, you're here. Uh, yeah, you definitely can't see it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, uh, if there's a new one, there's more than eight people there. Yeah. Definitely not social distancing. But we anyway, they seem to be having a great time. Half of me wants to be like, you can't do that. And the other half of me really wants to join them and just have fun. But you know, I'm a good citizen. I ain't trying to spread this disease, this virus, or another. Oh, there's a spider in the shower. Yikes. Oh my god, it's one of the ones with the really long legs. Oh, yo, oh, I'm leaving that room. Jesus Christ, it fell and it started swinging from a web. Okay, that was unanticipated. I didn't need that. I'm gonna go get Abby. She handles the spiders in the flat. So uh, one of the neighbors, because we live in a square, and this party's happening in the middle of the square, so there's a lot of houses or flats. One of the neighbors isn't happy about it and just started shouting at them, and now I shouted he's calling the police. So I suppose there we go. Party's being shut down soon. Well, I might stick around I, for the drama. I, I don't know. So much is going on. It went from a day of it being like a chill, you know, like a zero out of ten in excitement, but like fine, to... I go to the bathroom because I need to like brush my teeth and get ready for bed and I check the shower and it's not in the shower anymore. The spider's just on the sink. How did it even get there? It got from up here to, to down, like there. Anyway, so there's the spider. Where'd it go? Okay, so it's, been, it's by the bin. Okay, I'm aborting a mission. The neighbors just screamed at the party goers, so the police will be coming to that soon, I think. So she might have no popcorn. It's like the horror movie in the bathroom and then the like thriller, suspense thriller outdoors and I said I needed a new TV show. This is the drama I needed. There we go. Oh, well, that's really bright so everyone can see it, but there we go. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, update. They've gone inside. Um, They've all, one of them had common sense and was like, right, I think we should all move inside. Otherwise, it's just going to end badly because there was people shouting still, and we can see other people at windows watching them as well. So they've gone inside, and they attempted to kind of put out the fire and then just gave up. So there's, I think it's in a barbecue thing, so it's not going to, like, hopefully set fire to the whole garden, hopefully. but there's just now a fire there's unattended. Like a, oh, oh, shit, that was, oh, that was a big one. Yeah, a big gust. as the kind of wind hits it, it's definitely getting bigger. It's not going, yeah, that's getting bigger again. Oh, goodness. Anyway. Oh, fuck. Excitement kind of over. Abby got rid of the spider and the party's over. So I guess back to my Netflix shows. So uh, just because we were people watching from Abby's room, I'm still oh, in Adam's her room. room. Or technically Adam's room uh, because of back what feels like years ago when uh, Abby's bed broke. So they use Adam's now. Um, but yes, I've never ended the vlog in Abby's room. So I hope the only thing you catch is me, Isolator. Day 76.
Yes, because, yes. Day 76. Locked. Sit down. Down. Is it on you? I don't know. I have no idea. My eyes are so puffy. Oh, that's me again. Oh. I don't know, we'll see. It, I mean, I have hay fever, but it's not hay fever that's making my eye itch and hurt. I have a sty. Uh, update on that tomorrow. I've been noticing it today, but I didn't check, and I've just checked. It's not obvious, but it's definitely swollen. And it's probably only going to get bigger.